Hello there Taurus, welcome to your reading. Let's get started with your energy forecast for the month of July 2024. Okay, messages for Taurus. Starting with the overall energy. Three of Cups. Okay, cause for celebration. Expansion. A lot of expansion here. The Three of Cups could also be like a social gathering. You could be attending some celebrations. Um, this could be about a friend circle as well. Hmm. Okay. The moon. Going with intuition. Hmm. So the three of cups could be a social circle here where you are being guided to go to the moon. Like go to the moon. Okay. You're being guided to go to the moon. Something about a celebration here for you, Taurus. A cause for celebration. This could be like a group of divine feminines coming together. Um, this could be some celebration regarding something that is coming full circle. All right. Something is requiring you to go with your intuition. The magician. Calling in. Oh, a lot of manifestation going on here. So this could be like a celeb yeah, I'm getting something about a celebration, a social circle, a gathering. At the bottom of the deck we have full. So this is a leap. This is something that is like a surprise. Okay, like a surprise party, a surprise. I see Knight of Wands. Like a bonfire. You are being celebrated, that is for sure. If this is not in the physical, then your guides are celebrating you. Miracle. Something about a miracle. We've been getting this card for you for some time. It's like you're seen as a miracle. You are seen as with the full energy here. It's also been coming out. You see, from the full, we have the magician. And this came out for your weekly reading. So this is something that is carrying on. It's definitely not a new energy. It's something that is building up, that has been building up. And you've come to the apex. You've come to the top of something, the peak. You're seen as a miracle here. Or someone sees you as a miracle. Or a group of people. Now, if these people see you as a miracle, that means they've done something. In the dark, they've done a lot for them to see you as a miracle. This is a tree that is like a stump, right? And there's something rising out of it. A lot to do with confidence. So they may describe it as... Like, so you're still alive. Like, that may even be literal. I meant it as... Not a joke, but it was more of metaphorical than literal. But I feel like that could be literal as well. Passion. So these are people that you've served... You have served. You have served these people. Okay. So there's something about a celebration for you. At the bottom of the deck, we have soulmate. Someone may be coming in as well. Someone may be taking a leap of faith. Wanting to have a new beginning. The first week of July... Now, the Three of Cups is also cancer, a cancer card connected to family or friends that are like family. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. Three of Pentacles. So something to do with a collaboration here. Whether it's collaboration with or against. I'm picking up two sides, two main sides to this and everything in between. Okay. 
King of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles, then we have Three of Cups. Hmm. I feel like you could be coming together with someone or a group of people. Now, the Three of Pentacles and Three of Cups, this is a lot of expansion for you. The Three of Cups could also point to like third party. There's something you're coming into. And it may come as a surprise. It may come as something that feels like a miracle is happening. Second week of July. King of Cups. Cancer Pisces, Scorpio energy. This could be about your healing, your profession, your career. Could be about someone as well. Knight of Wands. <laughs> Interesting. Taurus. We have Knight of Wands here as well. I see the tower. The tower is like a sudden awakening. Someone could be having a sudden awakening. The lovers is here. Someone could be having a sudden awakening. The Knight of Wands is like the hot and cold, fiery energy. So this person may have been in this situation. And guess what we have at the bottom of the deck? The lovers. So a lot of synchronicities, a lot of like confirmations regarding this energy. Judgment. Someone is having not only sudden awakenings, but a lot like really deep awakenings. They're going through their shadow work. Okay, they're going through the shadows right now. Um, while you are coming into your expansive mode, they are being guided to go in. Or they've had to go in. In the second week, you could be taking some action. You also are having your resurrection. You are rising. There's a rise to power here that is happening. I hear something about a reflection. A reflection in the mirror. Or someone may be trying to mimic you. Or they have been trying to mimic you. I picked up that energy for you in the past. Something about like someone copying you. Everything. An imitation. A copycat. Third week of July. Hmm. Seven of Cups. Distractions. Illusions. Ten of Pentacles. On the surface level, this may feel like coming to the crossroads or like having to choose something. With the magician energy. Taurus, I feel like this is pretty much a warfare. It feels like a warfare where you've come to the peak. That is why it's like the peak of the moon. Because the moon is dark. It's a lot of depth, shadows. You're on top. And this in itself is cause for celebration. Look at that. The High Priestess. A lot of depth here. The High Priestess is Cancer Pisces energy. That could be significant as well. The High Priestess is all about intuition. Hmm. The last week of July. The Emperor. This is Aries energy. Stability. Leadership. You've been fighting for this. For as long as I've started your readings. It's like there has been a fight. 
and this fight have been happening especially around the full moon period someone trying to take your throne someone trying to or a group of people perhaps this is why i picked up like so you're still alive i feel like you're going to be surprising people you're going to be surprising people here and they're in for some big surprises it's like a tornado that is hitting them the emperor ten of cups yep this is you chilling you're chilling the empress what better card to talk about chilling than the empress in your reading you're definitely chilling here you're going to be having a lot of revelations this year in itself has been you witnessing a lot like it's like a projector that has been put on the uh, on the wall and it's like taurus sit back and watch and that is the high priestess that is the empress this is why the magician and miracle is showing your new beginnings it's also showing you what has been happening and this is to do with places you've invested in emotionally especially with emotions which is like that value the currency knight of cups page of cups so you could be receiving some love offer here there could be a love offer as well because uh just like what came earlier there are other sides to this um i feel like you also are coming into something new could be a new love connection it could be a group it could like just where you feel more at home to summarize july revelations and you finishing off this month sitting in your power there's something coming up <laughs> there's something coming up around the third week regarding your grounding your intuition because of something that is being done and this is just around the full moon in aquarius you see the full is uranus energy so this is just when like new ideas innovations that are coming like a kind of a mojo and what do we have stuff to do with confusion right so this is a week where you will have to like really ground it feels really good really really good i i like the energy i like what i'm getting it's like someone who is prepared like yeah a lot of preparation a lot of expansive energies with the threes all over three 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 and then we have ten of pentacles ten of cups so this is really good You are at the peak. And that reflection that came earlier could be also like someone on the other side. It could be a twin flame connection with the lover's energy. Could be someone going through this as well. Now, I feel that this person is going through the opposite. There is someone who has done some nasty stuff and they feel like they've gotten away with it and you will never see them in the physical. You have gone with your intuition regarding this. Even you do not understand the gravity of what this person has done to get their way into a position. You could have worked with this person wow i'm just seeing the emperor and the empress in the last week with ten of cups you could be coming together with a divine counterpart here with the ten of cups knight of cups
three of wands. So there is an opening that is happening for you in the last week. And this opening is requiring a coming together of masculine and feminine energies. So this will be happening for you in the physical and, and or on the energetic level. But this door is opening as a result of this coming together. So it could be a celebration. It could be a marriage. It could also be you. Whatever this is, it's a leap. It's a big jump. Angels and Ancestors. High Priest, Intend and Create. You could be a Divine Masculine Energy. There could be a Divine Masculine in the picture as well. Now the High Priest and High Priestess. Hmm. High priest, high priestess, the emperor and the empress. This is a collaboration you're having with someone. Even if not in the physical, it's definitely happening on the energetic level for you. This may be a higher self. It could be a spirit guide. But this is pretty much a coming together. Like you feel more collaborative. You feel like you're working together. Spring. See your seeds grow. And this working together is, is a cause for celebration. This is a miracle. Wow, Taurus. I would love to know more about this because it feels like a vast energy. It also feels like someone who has been through the depths of like, and you're having to, like, you know what it feels to be in the arms of the divine. You know that, like, this is not something that is in passing. This is something that has been a journey Into the thick of it, that kind of thing. Like it's gone deep inside the forest. Uh, elder healing through the lineage. That is it. This is like deep embodiment. Manifesting. You have the power to manifest what you want by writing your intentions down and by taking inspired action to make it happen. I see that peacock and the magician. I feel like you are... You're in for some beautiful, beautiful experiences this month. Yep. At the bottom of the deck, we have flexibility with the moon energy. High priest. Recognize that you have the power to change your life. Face your fear and align with the light. You are a bridge between heaven and earth and it's important for you to know that you are more powerful and connected than you may think. Everything you are giving attention and energy to at this time is creating your way forward. There have been some setbacks, but accept these as, as experiences that have led you to a deeper understanding of yourself and your spirit. Know that you are being guided by the ancestors to direct your thoughts and energies towards what you want to grow, heal and expand and then watch it happen right before your eyes. I'm going to read the High Priestess card because it's here as well. 
align with the light and focus on all things positive. You are a mystic with the capacity to connect with energies that go beyond the human senses. Within you is a force of magic that is directed by your will. There is an opportunity for you to rise up at this time, but it requires dedication and discipline. You are being guided to look at what you are working on or at the situation before you and determine where your priorities lie. If you are unable to figure that out, you must use your intuition and discernment and to focus on what will bring you closer to your goal and the happiness of everyone involved. When this card arrives, it's also important for you to check in with your intuition as it will give you guidance that will be important for your growth. Elder is about embodiment, family lineage, generational trauma and breaking all of that. It's like the Nine of Wands card. A lot to do with resilience. And spring is watching your seeds grow. And that in itself is a cause for celebration. I'm really getting, Taurus, like you're going to be surprising. You've been surprising, actually. You've already been surprising people. They, went, they thought that you went down under, but little did they know that going down under was a form of clearing for you. In the process of being down under, it's like someone is at rock bottom. They have no way to look or nowhere to look than up. They're looking up and a lot is being magnified. So this is what has been happening for you. But then in the process of that magni magnificence, you know, magnification, whatever this is, you have seen a lot and you are seeing a lot. <laughs> and they know that you see, but just they don't have the capacity to, to see things the way you do. So that projector is your own eyes. Alas, that projector is your eyes. You will have them calling. They're going to call you, but then they can't speak to you the way they would before. They can't do that, and in that itself is a miracle. They leave that call, that conversation, and they're smirking like they're like that they're kind of hitting their heads like I'm speaking to a different person. Like I knew they were changing. I knew Taurus was changing, but now they are having that experience. And why is that significant? Because they are the same ones who thought that you were gone. And that would have been it. They put you down. I can't wait to see where this goes, but it feels beautiful. And congratulations. All right, Taurus, I'm going to stop here for now. I wish you a blessed month and I'll come back with more videos. Take care and much love. Bye-bye.